Yeah. So we're just gonna ask you some sort of some questions. Uh, sure, I know you gave like. a talk to us yesterday, and um, we just wanted to kind of get the gist of what you gave us yesterday. So we're gonna try to ask you maybe some of the same questions sure, um, to try to get some you know good answers out of you. Um, so the first question is: We know that you spent your undergrad career at Notre Dame. Yes. And we were wondering if um, you could tell us about any kind of um, experiences or um, the thought process you went through, or if Notre Dame influenced you in any way um, to kind of inspire you to go towards the path, the career path that you ended up pursuing? Well, uh, like I mentioned uh, last night to some, some crowd, uh, I mean, I was at a, the first uh, 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 meeting we had was with Frank Leahy at uh, the, 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 the night before the game, you okay. know, the first game. And uh, he told us all what Notre Dame was going to mean to us and how it's going to uh, handle your life and it's going to be a part of your life mm -hmm. and an important part of your life. And uh, you'll never forget it, but things like that, you know. And now I'm sitting there like that. I'm from the Bronx, <laughs> and uh, I'm taking it all in. And I'm saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel it already. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it was true that that's the way it worked for me. Yeah, yeah. No, I think it's incredible that um, you know, people only spend four years here on average, and they still take Notre Dame with them for the rest of their lives. Absolutely. Absolutely. You come back here for a game. You see all these old guys hanging around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was one reason why I chose to came here because I knew when I graduated, I was never going to forget it. Did you? Yeah. Well, good for you. So, <laughs> it's a special place. Sure. It really is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> glad, I'm glad you guys made it. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's been an incredible experience. And I'm in my fourth year now, so I'm trying That's to hold on to this last year. year. You know what it's like at the end when yeah. you have to say goodbye? What? Oh, it's tough. Yeah. Bittersweet. <laughs> That's what they say. It's, it's very, very hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, you know, you're leaving. You can come back and see a game and all that, but you're not going to come back like a student and be living here and right. eating here and sleeping here and laughing here. <laughs> Those exactly. days are over. I know. Hopefully, you know, every, well, every couple of times a year we might be able to come back with friends, you know. Yes, try to games. do that for yourself because you'll, you'll enjoy it. Yeah. But, you know, it's going to end soon. You've got two more years. I see, yeah, I got three, um, yeah, two more years. What, yeah. are you, what are you studying? I'm a film major. You're a film major? Yes, sir. <laughs> Oh my God! We yeah. got a film guy. <laughs> well, I'm an actor, but I'm just. You're an actor too. <laughs> what does he want? This guy wants everything. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're going to start. Go for it. That's what he's doing. Yeah. Now about you? Um, I'm a finance major. Good. Mm -hmm. See, that, that's the guy we all should be. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> I plan on sleeping on his couch. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. I think uh, maybe a partnership in the future would be yeah. sure. successful for That'd us. Be good. You know, a little production company. Yeah, exactly. We handle the books. Yeah, we got the camera guy too. Like Finance <laughs> guy. <Brian. Yeah>. Whoa. <laughs> um, so, yes, yeah, speaking of majors, we're actually wondering, I'm sure a lot of people are curious, what was your major here at Notre Dame? You know, I, uh, honest to God, really didn't know what it should be. Uh, <laughs> I, I had. I, I wanted to be into uh, this show mm -hmm. business area, but I, I didn't have the guts to, to, to tell anybody, mm -hmm. so I kept it to myself. And what can I be? What can I be? What should I be? And then I thought, well, maybe it's sociology, mm -hmm. okay. which is a great uh, topic, but, uh, you know, I, I didn't do much, use it much uh, after I left. <laughs> But I enjoyed being with it and uh, and uh, hearing about it, mm -hmm. and uh, it was effective uh, in, in running uh, your life. But uh, that's what I uh, that's what I chose. So sociology. Yeah. Well, it seems like it was pretty effective. I'm about to say. <laughs> see, see, those <laughs> Made you a people person. That's for sure. <laughs> in yeah. those days, we didn't have the guys that could go into uh, you know the business and and you uh, right. finance. Well, fi what finance in those days? <laughs> No business, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, Notre Dame's progressed a lot, I guess. There's oh a lot my of opportunity gosh, it's now. got a lot bigger than, than what it was when I was here. Mm -hmm. That's what they say. Everyone always comes back, and every even if you graduated five years ago, like that's right. Campus is so much different than it, it is was. different. The, the the subjects have gone on to other things, mm -hmm. and it's good. Yeah, and with Campus Crossroads too. I mean, we're gonna come back in ten years, and it's gonna be completely that's different right. for us. You know? That's right. Don't forget that. Yeah. You know who else was a sociology major here? Condoleezza Rice. Was she? Yeah, she was oh, a sociology major. Well, you saw what happened to her. <laughs> <laughs> sociology, maybe so we should all switch. Where is she yeah, these days? <laughs> I have no clue. Um, she was at Stanford for a long, long time. Long time, right? Yeah. And then, I think she's, she, and then she went to Washington, didn't she? And, uh, yeah, right. anyway, she, yeah, she she's was. a great she's probably gal. still in Washington. She's a great I gal. I don't know how much sociology did for her, <laughs> but she, oh. she came through. Yeah. Yeah. She did, yeah. She spoke at uh, Father Hesburgh's funeral this past. Did this she family. really? Yeah, she Good was for here her. speaking, yeah. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. um, speaking of Father Ted, did you have any kind of personal relationships with him? And did you ever in contact with him? Did you ever visit him when you came back to campus? Oh, yeah, sure. I saw him back many times up at his uh, office. Yeah, he's yeah. really cool. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. he's a great guy. Just a great guy. Mm -hmm. 
I, uh, I once went down to Washington. We used to go once a year to Washington, you know. Yeah. And uh, well, I went down there once and uh, did a little show for him in front of the gang. And uh, uh, he was always he was always a special person, you know. Yeah. I don't know That's if we have anybody else like that in our lives, but there he was. Yeah. The late great Father Desberg. Mm. Yeah. He was incredible. So great. I um I was abroad in the spring last last spring when he passed away, so I was in Ireland. But um, so I didn't make the the procession or the funeral on yeah. campus, unfortunately. But our our whole program got together um, in our <clears throat> basically in our kind of home base there in Dublin, and we watched the whole ceremony and everything. And um, it was a really special time for us, I guess. See, that's the kind of guy he was. He just you know he, he brought people grew on people. Yeah, exactly. And hearing all the stories and everything, he he affected so many people. Just oh, he changed this whole thing. I mean, mm -hmm. we we didn't have any women here. I mean, there were mm -hmm. no girls here. And all of a sudden, one day he said. Got to have girls. <laughs> and, uh, I, so I had forgotten that. I was working out in Hollywood, and, and uh, Reagan uh, was coming here to talk. And uh, I had met him in, in, uh, before he went into politics. Mm -hmm. I knew him, and he was a great guy. And I, so I said to the boss, can I grab a camera and come back to, to L.A., mm -hmm. uh, to, uh, to Notre Dame, to see what, what Reagan has to say. Mm -hmm. So I came back. And all of a sudden, there were girls all over the place. <laughs> I wasn't used to. It. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. And then I remember, yes, Father right. Hesburg said we want girls here, and so uh, it was great. Yeah, yeah. And they had a great, a great time here with with Reagan. And I brought all, all the things wow. back, and I spent two nights on the on the TV show, the mm -hmm. news show, mm -hmm. uh, showing everybody. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sure it worked out well for everybody, right? It did. It really did. It worked out well for me, too. I, I enjoyed seeing him again. He mm -hmm. was a great guy. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I guess speaking of kind of your visits, you know, uh, meetings with Father Ted, do you have any, I guess, um, favorite memories at Notre Dame, I guess, in undergrad or even post when you're coming back and visiting? Well, we, we, where do you live? Not home. Well, which hall? Not nah, Marion Burke. Not Marion Burke. Not. Well, it was right. a woman's hall. <laughs> it was a woman's hall, and then they made it a men's hall. So, really? Yeah, just like ten years ago. So you're happy about that? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, we have air conditioning. Yeah. Well, yeah. Good. Well, we never had that. Either. It's definitely better than Zom. You're right. I was in Zom. <laughs> oh boy! I wish I could remember the the priest that we had running the Zom hall. Mm -hmm. He was uh, the toughest guy. Yeah. And. Uh, uh, I lived with a couple of guys, and mm -hmm. uh, there was some noise uh, at the room next door to ours. And of course, he thought it was our room. Knocked out our room, opened the door, came in there. Oh, I thought we. Were, I said it wasn't us one. <laughs> it was the guys next door, and they paid a price. Believe me, no, he, oh, was, no. he was he was tough. But mm -hmm. Zab was the beginning of it. Uh, I spent. Uh, what's the uh, the. Uh, the the, the, the house next to the uh, the uh, dining hall here on the other Fisher. side. Fisher, side. Fisher. Fisher. Fisher was oh, my, right was my okay. last place. Mm -hmm. okay. Dylan was the third place. Oh, mm. Dylan. Second place was uh, the the place with the, uh, the 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 arch. Lions. 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 Yeah. yeah. So that was that was a male dorm back in the day. That right. Oh, they were all male dorms. Oh, right. That's true. Yeah. Guys that like true. you were there. You know, <laughs> <they're> getting, <laughs> what was I doing with guys like you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we'd be able to handle it all male. That's, that's a tough, uh, tough way to go. Um, so let's see. Let's... Well, now the girls have their own, their own uh, places, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah There's yeah. all all male dorms, all female dorms. So single gender. And, and mm -hmm. what's the uh, the uh, the uh, last light of the day that you can stay out? Parietals. Uh, parietals are two. I believe on the weekends, two a.m. Two a.m. Mm -hmm. And on the weekdays, it's twelve. And when you're a freshman. Uh, it's for everyone. Yeah. yeah. But when we were freshmen, 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Yeah. You guys had curfew? And then, if when you were a sophomore or junior, if you could stay up till 12. Wow. And a football player would come. Still come around? Yeah. Check your room? Mm-hmm. And if you were... No, there, no, no, they don't come around anymore. But that back in the day, they did. Well, how do they check you? How do they know you're there? I know. Well, they it's trust. They trust. Trust! Oh, it's trust! <laughs> Can you it's believe right. these guys? Right. I'm trustworthy. <laughs> yeah, you don't think you, we There's nobody, nobody sticking out there more than 2 o'clock. Well, there's no. RAs. I mean, RAs walking around. The but... resident advisors, they'll walk around the dorms. And, All right. And make I sure could come back to my room. Do you have a, uh, a, a little mm -hmm. police officer there at the door where you could be? Um, somebody? Sometimes on the weekends. It depends, you? yeah. Sometimes oh, we'll have boy, we'll have things have changed here. Yeah. yeah, Officer Johnson will and hang out in front in the in the lobby of not. 
<laughs> we had one day, one day uh, when you were a freshman, did you could stay out till midnight. One day. Yeah. What day was that? And like once a month. Saturday, or one one day whatever day you, you wanted, but what you got? What you, you got one day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the other yeah. days. You got to make it your day one day. <laughs> in your room, boy. By eleven o'clock. Wow. At a ten o'clock, the the, and we had a very tough guy that caught a, a fullback that would come back and check each each room. He didn't want to. He was tired. Yeah. You know? Right. But if you weren't there, you it set up. So you know, he put your name right down on a piece of yeah. paper, and you caught you caught hell the next day. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Well, I mean, today uh, you actually don't have to be in your room by Prados. You just have to be. The, the women can't come into the dorm, the dorm. before, before yeah. midnight. I hope not. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to hear one woman in your rooms. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Yeah, no, we 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 behave. We follow. Regis rules. said, "No woman in his room." <laughs> <laughs> I had a, we had a guy from Pennsylvania who used to lay in bed. And uh, I, I was in the, the, you know, the, the, the double bed, and uh, I had a guy from, a nice guy from, uh, from uh, o o Iowa, and this other guy was from Pennsylvania, the guy that was in uh, the single bed. And he would say, he had a habit of saying, what time is it? And we, we would say, uh, that we would say, it's a quarter to seven. What time is it? He would keep saying, what time is it? Until he made us crazy. Yeah. <laughs> what What time is it? People, uh, it was, uh, it was unbelievable. <laughs> I, mean, I had to be there to understand how crazy it was. It was one it, of those. It was wild, yeah. And then when you go down to Mass, now do you mm. go down to Mass every day? I'm not Catholic. It's all right. What about you? <laughs> every Sunday. Every Sunday. In Alumni Hall Chapel, yes. They have Masses every day at every, at every chapel, this is true. right? Yes, they yep. have every day. So you guys, but you guys don't go, huh? Every Sunday, yes. Well, uh, we had to go three days a week. It was required. And you, and you were required to go. And there was a Dell, forget this guy's name, he was a fullback from uh, Chicago and a tough guy. And uh, when you went down there, he would sign your name that you were there for, mm -hmm. the, for, the, for the Mass, and then you would get a punch in, in the arm. And what? I mean, a slug. Boom! Just, you know. <laughs> you see who's right in the arm. Say hello. This, is, this was, was three times a week? What's up, three man? Three times a week. <laughs> you go like that, you'd say, yeah, yeah! <laughs> and then you go to church and you pray. That's the way it was at Notre Dame. In those <laughs> so you guys are pretty bruised up arms by the end oh, of the year. Oh, my God. People used to hate to go down there. Oh Del, Del something from Chicago. Oh, he was a character. Oh my! God. And he was the same guy that would walk around. He the was dorm a fullback on, on the team. Yeah. Wow. No, that's, that's, that's not fair. At all. I know. Why I don't am, think... I, why am I talking to these two guys? I don't know where I've been. And, but I know the when struggle they... to come up. I know. If someone slugged us, I don't know what happened. They probably I don't know. kicked yeah, out. I'd be so gone. Oh boy! Amazing. Little punch, you know. Yeah. He thought it was a little punch. It was a knockout for us. Yeah. <laughs> But you're enjoying it here, huh? Of course. It's the best. Every Isn't second it? of it. Isn't yeah. it, no kidding? There's yes. no, nobody better than that. There's no one better. Nothing like mm -hmm. it. You should be lucky here, and I want you to enjoy it, yep. especially you. You got a couple of months. <laughs> couple and then months. Adios, amigos. Yep. You know what I mean? Come to the real world. That's right. And you've got two more years. Two more years, yeah. To become a, the big actor that you're going to become. Yeah, hopefully. Good. That's Good the goal. You. I hope you do. I hope he's you he's do. a lucky one. He still has the most time. And you, with the finance... I want to stay in touch with you. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would love that. I would welcome that. <laughs> yeah, I plan on just crashing on your couch, man. <laughs> yeah. No, we well, are. try and make it. We yeah. coordinate. We got it. Yeah. Um, Good luck. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You bet. So as we wrap up, do you have any advice for students, current students, um, going out? And... Guys, guys like you. Yeah. Well, no. Well, guys I, like us. I, I think uh, finance is, is is a good gig. I think it really is, and I think there's. Lots of uh, yeah, room too many, the too much advice with that major. <laughs> the uh, the business here, you know, uh, you can't tell in this business where where, where it's going to wind up. Mm -hmm. Where do you want it to wind up? Uh, one movies of or on stage. Movies. Or no, I I worked in New York this summer and I did a little stage stuff. Did um, you? Good for you. Yeah, and I I figured out what I don't want to do. So I definitely what don't want to do stage. Do? I definitely don't want to do stage. But if I got an offer, I'd definitely take it. But mostly <laughs> movies, television. Mm -hmm. um, um, I've got some stuff lined up in the future, so. Is there anything here on the campus that you could oh, do? Oh yeah, there's. I mean, performing arts center. I was at, I I was in a play last year in, in yeah. your in your theater in the Philbin Theater. Take every chance you can of doing it because you will yeah. learn something every time, time you get yeah. involved. Every time. Mm -hmm. You'll learn more, you know, mm -hmm. and and you'll have something to to go back and uh, think about uh, as you move on, and it will help you. That's good. They try to do that for the next two years. Thank okay. You. Yeah. And of course, we got NDTV also to help us out. Yeah, so, right. uh, 
Is that Andy TV? Andy, over there? Notre Dame Television. Notre Dame Television. Yep. Is it, is it, why did he turn the lights off three minutes ago? <laughs> <laughs> what, what kind of a guy is this? <laughs> He's the best. Yeah. Anyway, thanks guys um, very yeah, much. Thank you very much. Good luck oh, to appreciate you. your time. We had we had one more we have one more question. <laughs> oh, You're gonna love this. There's question. no end to these. You are gonna love. You're this. gonna love this question. Yes. Is that your final answer? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now you know I used to say that all the time. Is that your final answer? <laughs> oh, did what, you? When did I do do that? I, did I do that on that? Uh, who wants to be a millionaire? Who wants to be a millionaire? I loved <laughs> that show, but I had to say it. Is that your final answer? Of course. We had to make sure that that was their final answer. We knew it. Where did that like, I just said, no, I've got one more to say. No, you, Brad, were you producing? I'm producing now. He, <laughs> he's been around a lot. But uh, yeah, I loved it, that program, and I, I was with it uh, for yeah. five years, and, and see, uh, the ABC, I'm not, not ashamed of it, ran a little bit out of money, so they decided to air it uh, four days a week. Mm -hmm. which I thought was too much, but okay, we did it. And then they wanted to put it on Mondays through Fridays at 1230. 30, right, mm -hmm. no one's watching. Nobody's watching. Yeah, that's you, want, you want to get the whole family there to look at Right. You want the kids to look right. at it. The of mothers, the fathers. Sunday nights. And, and hopefully somebody wins some money. And I think eight, eight people won $8 million while I was there. Mm -hmm. And it was a thrill for them to do that. Of course. You know? mm -hmm. and, and a few lost what they what they thought they had won. And, you know, mm. Is that your final answer? You're, you're right. I had to say that over and over again. Is that your final question? Can I ask you that? Yeah, that's my final question. Okay. <laughs> Thank you again very much, Mr. Philbin. We appreciate your time. Good luck to you, you all. Thank you.